Looks like the party's over, huh? Yeah. Well, I wish we'd known. We would have planned something, you know, taking you out. Why, I'm that much closer to checking out. Why bother celebrating? Well, Bianca remembered. Yeah, of course she remembered. Because it's Frankie's birthday. And I'm the next best thing, right? So what happened? We saw Bianca running out of here. Nothing. Nothing happened. Leave it, David, please. But Bianca couldn't deal with it, is that it? Yeah, something like that. She really loved Frankie, Maggie. I guess she misses her. She wishes I was Frankie. She was expecting me to be like Frankie. Was there a misunderstanding? Yeah, there was a misunderstanding. She made a pass at me. She tried to kiss me. Oh, damn. <sighs> That's too bad. Poor Bianca. Poor Bianca? Does anybody care how I feel? Does anyone give a damn about me? I didn't mean to make it sound as if I... All right, I... it's the champagne talking. I can't believe it's your birthday. I should have known that. How could you? I... Please, don't get all sentimental on me now. I'm not feeling sorry for myself. I'll be okay. So you're not thrown at all by what happened to you? I... It's just I wasn't expecting it. I'll be fine. Well, even if you weren't, you could tell me about it. Mm, you're joking, right? No. But of course, it's probably easier for you to believe that people don't care what you feel, right? Oh, come on, please, stop. What... Is this turning into some after-school special? Well, that's good, because, you see, that's exactly what I was going for. Right. I'm cool, I swear. I'm sure you are. But just in case, why don't we take you out tomorrow night, okay? There's this great new restaurant in Centerville I'd love for you to try. I don't celebrate my birthday. Oh, okay, and how come? And don't tell me it's because another year bites the dust. You make poor Anna cry. <laughs> My mom just didn't. I didn't want to make a fuss, I guess. Well, I'm sure the drugs didn't help any. Yeah, well, when my mom was high, she was all blissed out. She sort of left us alone, didn't bother with us. Both you and Frankie? Yeah, I was always the one who was taking care of her because I was the older one. By about two minutes. Yeah, I was always the one who was in charge. Frankie didn't mind. She hated making decisions. She was always crying. But I was the tough one. Sounds like Frankie knew how to get what she needed. Yeah, well... She was always bawling. Always bothered my mother. But sometimes... She would hold her in her arms, just for a couple minutes, but I think Frankie lived for those moments. She shouldn't have had to beg for them. Yeah, well, I guess she found what she was looking for when she came here. Bianca loved her, and I saw it in her eyes tonight. Maggie, someday somebody's gonna love you like that. I promise. I need to get out of here. All right, I'll take you wherever you want to go. No, Where? no, I don't. I don't mean out of this room. I need to get out of this town. I'm gonna pack up my stuff and go to my house. Bianca, honey, what is it? Tell me what, what happened. You, you sound like something's wrong, honey. What? <laughs> Okay, you had an, a car accident? Where are you? Um, I'm on State Road 
23, like, like, a, a half a mile past uh, Willow Lake. I don't, I don't know, it might be more than that, Mom. Okay, okay. It's all right, you listen to me. I'm going to call the ambulance, and you just hang it. Call 911 already. Just a few minutes. Where, where, where is she? What happened? To Eric, her? Eric, where's the accident? What's going on? I'm gonna go. I'm going after her. Wait, 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 wait. Let me, let me go. You stay put. No arguments. Erica. So you're leaving town too, huh? What is it with everyone wanting to cut and run? Why? Who else? Leo. Oh, Leo's taking off. Yeah, yeah. He thinks that if he can skip town, he'll stop thinking about Greenlee. That's not going to happen. If he loves her as much as he says he does, that no matter where he goes, he's not going to get away from her. <laughs> what does this have to do with me? Picking up, moving on, when the going gets tough. I mean, isn't that what you've been doing your whole life? Cousin Dave, I love you, but you don't know me. And whose fault is that? Oh, please. Like you were an open book? Maggie, your mother let you down. So did mine. You keep on going on like we have so much in common. You're this big, hotshot doctor, and, and what am I? I'm squat. I decided what I wanted to be. So can you. Now, what happened with this dream that you had about being a doctor? Just not ready for it right now. Okay, it can wait. But not if you keep running away from everything. Maggie, you have a chance to stop. Okay? Stay in one place for a while. Connect with people who care about you. Is that what this is about? It could be a lot more. I care about you. So does Leo, Anna. We all care. A lot. You're a really cool guy. But you don't owe me anything. It, well, you see, I'm trying to get away from the whole scorekeeping thing. <laughs> yeah, why? Well, from what I understand, it tanks most marriages. And it's very impractical when it comes to families. Families? Like we qualify? We might. What? <laughs> I've always had this, this picture in my mind for a long time. Um, you know, but with my life, it, it never really made sense. So maybe you can help make sense of it. You want to hear it? Do I have a choice? I had this dream of a, of a big rambling house, you know, with a huge old fashioned kitchen and a, and a den with a, with a massive stone fireplace. And in the backyard, this, this big, beautiful weeping willow tree. So what do you think? Sounds like it costs a bundle. Oh, forget about the cost. Have you ever crawled under a weeping willow tree and taken a nap on a summer night? No. Well, neither have I, but I always wanted to. I want to live the kind of life that I've read about in books. What are you, are you trying to start a cult? <laughs> or do you just want to crawl into some time warp? Well, what's wrong with that? You know, saying it makes it feel like it's possible, you know, like it's, like it's within reach. Yeah, I, I always thought you were this big tough guy, mixing it up with everybody. Yeah, hey, I'm probably gonna still be that, you know, as long as I have Anna here at my side. So what do you think? About what? Well, if I start looking for a house and I find one, would you move in with us? That's a lot of ifs. I mean it, Maggie. Listen, David, you don't have to take care of me. Fair enough. So why don't we take care of each other? Great wife. You know, you don't need me. I want us to be a family, Maggie. I believe that we can move past the lives that we've had and, and start fresh. Look, I'm not just doing this for you, okay? So come on, what more can I say to convince you? I think I've just about OD'd on the sweet talk. Um, I'll get back to you. But you will? Yeah, I will. 
right now, he needs to get out of here. And not, not, not out of Pine Valley, just out of this room. <laughs> All right, so um, you'll get back to me then? Yeah, I will. <laughs>